نزلیمش نزلیمش other friends all other friends first of all I want to extend to all my readings for me presenting this very important complete complete convened by Bhun Odhikara Mandolan Committee I also want to extend my greetings to the sponsors, to the leaders of this movement for arranging this type of very important conclave. The demands raised by Bhumi Yodhikar Adhanam Committee is very well known to you all. Almost all the burning problems being confronted by the peasantry has been raised by Bhumi Yodhika Adhanam Committee. I will not deal with these burning demands. I would like to state that the approach that has been adopted in achieving just and legitimate and very ardent demands of the peasantry of the country. The method of struggle, democratic struggle, struggle outside assemblies and parliaments, it is the most appropriate means that has been correctly adopted. People's movement is the last word. So peasantry's movement is very crucial today. The peasantry constitutes the bulk of our population near about 80 percent, if not more. And it is also a fact that sharp polarization is taking place in villages. So the days, as days are passing, most of the peasants are becoming poorer, as the, in the country also. This country, rich people are reaching, becoming richer, poor becoming poorer. Similarly, in the village is also sharp polarization in the sense of few rich peasants becoming richer and poor peasants are turning out to be destitutes. Legislessness, the first, the phenomenon of first growth of legislessness, peasants, marginal peasants, poor peasants losing their lands becoming paupers, rushing towards cities and towns, seeking some kind of livelihood, but finding none, facing deaths in villages, peasant suicides. <coughs> Every day, hundreds of places are occurring. So my point is that, that the approach erupted, that we shall have to force the government who are pursuing <coughs> pro rich policies, pro capitalist policies, anti poor, anti prison, anti worker policies. We have to fight for the best form of unity, widest form of unity, as you have envisaged here and as you have actualized here. It is a fact that whatever is also I remind you that because of the demands, the government has been forced in the post-independence period. During the last decade or past, within three to 
last four or five years. Because of this forceful movement, united, forceful, strong movements has compelled the government, be it Congress or be it, be it or BJP, to concede certain demands. The truth coming out is that not too much dependence on our government, assemblies and parliaments. The key factor to realize people's demands is fighting the poor people's cause outside, forging this type of powerful democratic movements, forging widest possible unity on the basis of issues agreed upon. This is my, this is our party appeal to you, to Pandava, that dependence should not be too much in an unrealistic manner. Our activities within legislature or parliaments, they are important. But your movements are also once again proof that what could not be forced upon the government within legislature and parliament has been achieved by your movement outside parliament. So there should be combination in fighting people's cause, there should be combination of both parliamentary and extra parliamentary movements. Extra parliamentary movements being the prime power factor and its complementary is fighting inside assemblies and parliaments. I would like to say that we have to guard one thing that whatever demands are being achieved, whatever we have, we have obtained, the government will just force to accept. It should be guaranteed that these are not being used and ordered by real reasons with respect to minimum support price. This is being discussed today by the enlightened section that these benefits, along with the benefit of waiving the loans, these are being honored in connivance with the government by the reach of peasantry. It is to be guarded that whatever is being achieved with respect to waiving of loans of the peasants and with respect to achieving fair price, support, support price, it is to be guaranteed that this really goes to home, hope to those, to those people who need it more, for which these movements are being organized. Blacks and blacks, crowds and crowds of poor peasants who are dying, committing suicide. Regarding other points, I would like to state that not only peasantry is being ruined during the last 70 years in the post independence period, all sections of our toiling people, the working class, the middle class, all have been almost suffering from unthinkable burning problems with respect to hiking out livelihood. I do not want to elaborate how acute has become, exclusive has become, unemployment, price rise, corruption and other problems. I, I am going to discuss it. I would like to say the problems of <coughs> one minute. I would like to state that problems are being faced by an entire poor, poor, poor people of the whole country. 
working class are the worst murder forces, just like the poor peasants. Combining all these sections, we must go on forging unity, widest possible unity, so that powerful movements in different walks of life, involving workers, involving middle class, involving peasants, we can do. And those can be coordinated. Political, appropriate political forum must appear to advance, to carry forward this type of legitimate democratic movement throughout the country in a ceaseless manner. That is the need of the hour. The political struggle that we have to wish, we have to be bearing in mind that these demands are arising because of the existing capitalist system which is making few richer, poor, poor, well known to all established fact. So, in forging unity, it is to be seen that even in resisting BJP's worst communism, worst type of divisiveness, and a fascistic can a totalitarian tendency as it been manifested through the rule of BJP. All these are to be combated not only within legislative and parliament. The cause, this factor compelling us to, to develop powerful movements throughout the country. This is, this is the point we want to stress. Our struggle should be both parliamentary and extra parliamentary. But the prior stress, prior factor should be, our emphasis should be in forging and conducting powerful democratic movements. Your initiative has enlivened the entire toiling people of the country. I deeply congratulate the hard congratulate the sponsors of this movement, Bhumi Amdalan Committee. So, let us unite further, let us extend our unity and let us combine struggle of all sections of toiling people in the whole country. And for that, the unity that we fought, we will, it will have its effects in this parliamentary sphere also. Bringing to an end, BJP is a must. But simple pinning of hope, hope in election is a high completely erroneous approach. Our approach should be both for ousting BJP. We have to launch people's democratic movements, great and democratic movements outside. And also for fighting inside, we have to endeavor, we have to, we have to strive, endeavor. With this, I end my speech. Thank you all. Thank you, Comrade Bhattacharya, for extending your support. Our other speakers are coming. In between, our, uh, our very famous leader of this united movement, Bhumiya Jika Randala, Nanmoda Vacha and different type of united struggle, uh, Comrade Mehta Patkar India, she will speak. Thank you so much.